plumbing and electrical is finished. Uh, I just need to kind of set up my computer now and I'm also uh, setting the toe on the front uh, wheels. Okay, everything, everything is finished. All the wiring, all the plumbing has been finished. I've got the battery charger sitting on it here just to juice up the battery, make sure it's good so when I put the computer on it, it'll, it'll be okay. Um, again, this wiring is just, it's all been tied in, clipped in, ready to go, ready for start. Uh, the radiator has been filled to the brim. You can see the water uh, residing here in my overflow bottle. So I filled it up as best I can. Obviously there's going to be a little bit more when you start the motor. Uh, everything's tied down tight. Everything but the air conditioner. The air conditioner's just going to be left for now. My three gauges are wired up. The uh, boost gauge is coming off this little tiny white wire here that goes through up here and ties into the power brake booster. Uh, my boost gauge only shows boost and it does not show vacuum so um, there's a check valve here in the booster cylinder that will allow this to be only a boost line when there's boost in the motor. Everything's put together here. Still waiting on a bushing for that shifter. Everything's been filled up. I've put all the oil in it. Put all the transmission fluid in it and put all the coolant in it. I had a couple of little small coolant leaks and I've gone back in and fixed them. So it's full of fluids. There is no leaks. And we're ready to uh, start working on the computer. Okay, just a quick walk around. I'm ready to uh, <coughs> mechanically and electrically air. Everything is ready to uh, start. This is my computer is hooked up over there. Getting ready to hook up all the computers and do all the calibrations. So everything's ready. I just put a quick tensioner tightness on the uh, alternator belt down there just a minute ago. Um, so I'm setting up my computer here. I just got myself this little, made myself this little desk here, and I'm gonna. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and go in and and uh, calibrate the O2 sensor just to make sure I can do that, and then I'll be hooking up to the uh, the Vipec computer, which goes right here. So I'll have to be putting all this stuff together here in just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, program the O2 sensor, and then I'm gonna do the main computer. Okay, I've been waiting on a few things to get the engine started. I uh, can't get it going yet. Gotta, gotta wait. But uh, so I've decided to come up here and fix my my uh, strut ends here. I got these uh, spherical end rod ends, and I've got a 10 millimeter bolt here in the middle of it. This will be a lot stronger than what I had on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the, the toe in, a toe set here. So I've been working with these straight edges, straight down, clamped to the to the rotors. And I think I've got it pretty much set up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, torque some of this down. I've got it actually sitting on the uh, the jack stands out here at wheel height, so that the springs are compressed, so I can get the best reading at ride height. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to work back on the engine again.